General Cost Estimator for Excel Construction Cost Estimating Software for Excel Tutorial Starting General Cost Estimator Program Start General Cost Estimator by clicking on the General Cost Estimator icon on the desktop. This will start your Microsoft Excel program and also the General Cost Estimator. Right under the Excel ribbon you will see a warning some active content has been disabled click for more details click on the enable content button next to it this way the built-in programming will be enabled and functional note for office 2007 version of excel click on options and then enable macros button the welcome screen will appear click on ok button or continue trial button if this is a trial edition also close any other informational messages that may show now you should see the add ins menu that has been attached to Excel menu click on add ins then click on general cost you will see the entire program menu of general cost estimator which you will use to build and manage estimates let's take a quick look at the menu groups the first group of menu items is for the purpose of building and managing the estimate. The second group is for built-in reporting. Notice there are several summary and detail levels of reporting, including price quotation and bill of material reports. If you are using a trial edition of General Cost Estimator, the next group includes online purchase and registration menu and entering the authorization code that will switch the program to registered status. If already registered, you will not see these menus. The last group is for tutorial, step-by-step -step tutorial, and help system. Finally, about menu will display the welcome screen. Cost data lists and other worksheets. Let me briefly go through the worksheets at the bottom of the screen. Estimate. This is the worksheet where General Cost Estimator builds the cost estimate. When you start building a brand new estimate, this worksheet will be empty. If there are any entries from your previous work, you should clear entries using the General Cost menu Clear Estimate Worksheet. Important note, estimate worksheet is protected. If you try to write in one of the cells, you will get a warning message. Everything you need to add on the estimate worksheet can be accomplished through using the General Cost menu. Sheet protection allows for data entry error checks to maintain data integrity. So remember, no direct data entries are allowed on the estimate worksheet. Job info. This contains some Rolodex type reference info related to yourself and your customer. Fill out the green highlighted cell info, some of which will be used in the quotation report headers automatically. Quick help contains some basic help information at your fingertips. City. This worksheet contains several cities with associated material cost index for each. Simply click on your city or closest to your city and the program will remember and adjust material cost based on its index. As the estimate cost items are added to the estimate worksheet. Rates contains custom user entries for overhead, profit, sales tax, wage rates, and local currency sign. Defaults are provided. Be sure to review and make changes in the green cells before you start building the cost estimate. General to Electrical. These are the CSI based construction divisions. Each worksheet contains cost data including cost code, description, unit and cost data for material, labor and other costs such as equipment. You can add or delete rows of items from these worksheets thereby customizing the data list. Just follow the same format as we provide, that is one row per cost data.
code. This worksheet contains some boilerplate statements such as terms and conditions that is used in the quotation reports. One last point, while you may use Excel rename feature to rename the worksheet labels, you may not add or delete a worksheet. Also, you may not move the worksheets and disrupt their sequential order. Now, having briefly introduced to you what each section of the program does, let's now turn to how to actually build a cost estimate. You build an estimate by adding cost items that cover the scope of work. As an estimator, you have resources such as notes, plans, sketches, and material lists that will guide you and help you to determine the cost items and take off quantities. The fastest way of starting to build an estimate is by using the Add Standard Cost Items using Lookup from the General Cost menu. When you click on it, General Cost will open the Lookup window with divisions identified on the top. You can click on any division and then click and select one or more cost item rows for inclusion in the estimate. When you select several rows, click on the Finish button. The cost items will be transferred into the estimate worksheet. Note that each row of cost item contains one is quantity. You have to visit each row item and edit and indicate the actual quantity takeoff. Let's do that for one of the cost items. Click the mouse anywhere on the row, then select Edit Cost Item from the General Cost menu. The Edit window will open. If you know the quantity for that particular item, then you simply enter it in the Quantity field. Or you can use the Takeoff Calculator to figure out a count, length, area, and volume with adjustments. And you can transfer that right into the Quantity field. Let's cancel this for the moment. By the way, General Cost Estimator works well with rolling takeoff devices such as ScaleMaster and ScaleX when they are attached to the computer. Rolling the device on the plan will calculate distances, areas, etc. Note that when the quantity is changed, the cost category totals are accurately extended. You do not need to do any calculations yourself. You can add some memo notes if you wish. Click OK and General Cost will update the estimate worksheet data with your takeoff quantity edits. At any time, you can repeatedly go back to adding items using Lookup and export more items from your data list right into your estimate. If you have a unique custom cost item that does not exist in the data list, you can use the Add Custom Cost Item from the General Cost menu. This will open the same window, only the data fields will be blank. It's now up to you to define the custom cost item for that particular estimate. When you click OK, it will also be transferred to the estimate worksheet. At times, you may want to delete a cost item that you have already entered. Just click on the row number column, then select Delete Cost Item from the General Cost menu. When you click OK, the item will be deleted from the estimate worksheet. Creating reports. Creating reports is simple. All general cost estimator reports are tied to the general cost menu. And basically all you have to do is click and select the report that you want. When you select the report, general cost will create it on the screen as a separate Excel file. At this point, you can click the report icon on the taskbar and look at the report. If you want to save the report, simply use Excel's Save As function. 
to save that report under a different name that's simple if you want to read and then delete the report just close the Excel report file you may create as many reports as you like during the course of an estimate some of which you may end up printing and saving you can always open the estimate over again and create even more reports some reports are suitable for in-house review and others are more suitable for submitting to customers it all depends on how much detailed information you want your customers to see that's up to you to decide one last thing on reports if you rename your company logo file as my logo period jpeg and place it in the installation folder of the program general cost estimator will place it on top of the quotation reports lastly a few useful tips when you want to start a new estimate first open general cost xls original master file then immediately rename it using excel save as function under a different name such as my xyz estimate build your cost estimate on this job specific file before you start building your cost estimate be sure to review and change if necessary the overhead profit wage rate and sales rate tax information in the rates worksheet this is all for the moment and happy estimating to all